here with Bless Jess. Um, I'm so glad you stopped by my channel. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, I am on a cleaning out. I'm sorry, there's like a weird shadow. I am on a cleaning out every closet and nook and cranny in my house because our house is on the market. And when people come over who are potentially going to buy our house, I want them to be able to open closets and stuff not fly out at them. <laughs> so I just did um, the master bedroom closet. It looks great. I mean, I just love walking in there and just looking at everything because it looks so good. Now I'm back to tackle the linen closet. This closet is a closet that's in our bathroom, in our master bathroom. And so it has medicine, um, sheets, of course, linen closets. So it has sheets, towels, stuff like that. But it also has uh, like toiletry stuff because it's in the bathroom. So let me, plus our dog, if you can't see the uh, food bowl right there, our dog uh, in the cage, <laughs> she kind of stays in here uh, when we need to put her up for whatever reason. And so her stuff is in here too, like dog food and stuff. So, yeah, do you see? There's towels up there, uh, various um, medicines slash toiletries. Um, yeah. Then down here is sheets that are kind of just wadded. Um, we had to get everything picked up today, so like bathroom scales in here dog food it's just do you just see do you just see yeah it's just not it's not how when you're trying to sell your house or just I like to just open up stuff and even if I'm not getting ready to sell it just for everything to be clean and cleared out it just makes you feel so good it, I don't know if I'm weird like that but when everything is put away and everything is straight I just feel so good I don't think this is going to take me near as long as the closet last night took, but um, who knows. So, I've got my trash bag, I've got boxes if I need to pack stuff up, and I just want to get this looking good. And so, I will show you what it looks like when I get done. Wish me luck. Okay, so I finished the linen closet, and I'm going to show you everything I did. I have three trash bags of trash. How in the world? A lot of this is linens that we seriously never use. I'm just going to get rid of them, donate them. Um, and then a lot of it is just like wrappers and stuff and, and all that. So I have three trash bags. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> but um, it looks so much better. It did not take too long. And um, I think it's going to make a huge difference. So here we go. Up here at the top, I just have some towels and then a beach towel right there. I'm sorry, it's a little dark. There's no light in here. And then right here, these are all my travel size products. Travel size stuff is expensive, and I don't like to have to buy new travel stuff every single time we go. So I just save the ones we buy and um, keep them. And um, that way, the next time we go on a trip, it's just easy to have handy. This is all full-size products that haven't been opened yet. Extra body wash, extra deodorant, extra soap, just different things like that that are new. So I'll put that here. And then these are all stuff that are open that I use every now and then. I mean, I'll use my hairspray uh, several times a week at least. And the other stuff is just kind of hit and miss. Uh, of course, mouthwash every now and then. I think I have some in my... Um, Drawer, but I'm not a huge mouthwash person. It's not bad. I don't know. Um, and then I have some little bottles of stuff. Dry shampoo back there. Aloe vera if we get burned. This container right here is where I keep um, some of the bigger stuff that I didn't really have a place for. Things like a big pack of cotton balls, a big thing of Q-tips if I need to refill the little one containers, some trash bags, um, the neti pot. I don't know if you use a neti pot. They're amazing. And the little saline things that go in them. These stuff I'm going to be in and out of a lot more. This is my little thing of Q-tips, which I used to have this stuff sitting out on the counter. But I like it so much better in here. It's just easy to grab. 
what I need and then shut the door and I don't have to look at it. And these are all like ponytail holders and hair clips. This is all of our medicines. Believe it or not, I used to have both of these filled with medicines. But um, I just condensed it into one, threw away a bunch of stuff, I take my vitamins every day, so I left those out. Um, just random vitamins, medicines, Tylenol, blah, blah, blah. Um, these are extra makeup bags and then a little jewelry, jewelry box. Um, they have a little bit of jewelry in, but those are extra bags for when we travel. Um, since we're selling our house, I am keeping my back, my um, scale out of the way and just putting it in this closet. This is all my nail stuff. I have uh, my Jamberry nails are in this box, um, nail polish, and then all of, let me show you, you can see. I have all kinds of nail polish in this, which that's my favorite way of keeping nail polish because it just, um, I feel like if you have a big container, it gets all jumbled up. Here is where I got rid of the most stuff. This is all linens. I kept one extra pair of sheets for each of our beds, and that's it. Um, I have an extra full size, even though they're pink. That's what my son, um, I hardly ever have to put them on his bed, but if there was an accident or something, I have an extra pair of full size, an extra king, and then this goes to our air bed, and it's a queen. And then I have a tablecloth over there. Then on the bottom, I just have a blanket and a pillow extra. And then this is all the dog stuff. There's dog food, I think there's some treats, and then some puppy pads. So when you step back, if I can step back without hitting all this trash, uh, let me see how far back I could get. When you step back, this looks a lot nicer when someone's looking to buy your house than to see a bunch of stuff like we saw at the beginning of when I was showing you. So, yay, we got another closet done. The only things I have left to do, actually I have three more projects before I'm gonna be, I don't know if I'll show you all of them because I don't know how many times you can watch me clean out a closet, but um, I have my daughter's closet, which hers isn't too bad. I have my, um, my son's closet, his is a little bit worse. Just because he has more stuff, it seems like. More toys and stuff in there. And then the laundry room. Just needs a little redo. Our laundry room, you have to walk through it to get to the garage. So I know people are going to be walking through that. So, but I feel very good that this closet is done. So, thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more organizational videos. I hope you're inspired to get your home clean. It just feels so good to get rid of stuff you don't need. And you know what? Even though I have a lot less stuff in here, it feels like I have more because I actually know what it is. When stuff is all crammed together, I, there were linens that I've had literally since college. Like, why do I need that? It's just in my way. It's gonna be so much easier now. So clean out your closets, get everything fresh, and enjoy it. Um, subscribe if you're new. I would love for you to subscribe. Leave a comment below. I promise I'll comment back. And until next time, be blessed. Bye.